Hi guys, welcome back to the React and Laravel 5.6 tutorial. Uh, in this session we're going to be carrying on from last time. Uh, last time we set up our database with the default Laravel tables, migrations, password resets and users. Now we're going to want to make our own table and in this example we're going to make one called blog and the blog is going to have two fields, one called name which is going to be a string and one called body. Uh, we could easily just go into the um, SQL Pro program and we could click add in the bottom. But this is just going to mess up our structure with Laravel because if you remember from last time we created a migration. And to run this again, I'm going to show you a few quick tips to do it. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to open a web setup in terminal really quickly. And uh, this is a useful tip. It's not just to it's just it's not just for websites or apps. You can use this for any folder at all. I'm going to go into my um, project route. I'm going to take the project that I want to open, and I'm just going to drag it and direct, uh, directly drop it on item or terminal or whatever I want to open it, like whatever software I want it. So yeah, just drop it there, and that will open up in the correct directory. <coughs> so this just it just saves you a bit of time, you know, and it's these little things that make development much quicker. And then there's another tool called Size Up. I don't know if any of you guys have used this before, but basically it just allows you to move windows across the screen really quickly. So I can use, to send it left, I can use this command. To send it right, I can use this command, which is Control alt command left or right. I can do it up, down, I can do it max width, and I can do it center. And this is like really, really quick and really, really useful because I work as a web developer every single day of the week. and to be honest with you, I develop on the weekends uh, too. And it's like these little things which speed up your workflow. And if you've got a debugger problem, they're really, really useful because you, the last thing you want to be doing is dragging windows and just, uh, I need this for you, but this for you. Just, yeah. Download these tools, uh, this tool, and get used to it because it will make your life much, much easier. Anyway, to begin with, I'm going to write in PHP Artisan. This is going to show up a list of commands that we can use to just basically create. Um, it's, it's basically a file generator. So I'm going to open up a new tab. Um, we know we want to make a migration because a migration is what um, we can declare all the fields, etc., in. And then we can run that, and then that's going to set up the table for us. So what I would do is I would type in PHP Artisan because this allows us to use these commands and I would type in make and we want to look down to here, make migration. This says what it does, create a new migration file, perfect. So PHP Artisan make migration and then I'm going to name the migration something relevant to the action we're doing and this as you can see, I've used this as an example before, so create blogs table. And then we've got this command called create. And this is going to create the um, scheme, I think, so we can actually just just make the table um, much quicker. And I'll show you what I mean by that now. So I'm going to type in blogs. And yet again, this is going to be the name of the table in the database. So before, I'm just going to run, run that. This has created the migration file. I'm going to open up my SQL Pro. Refresh. As we can see, there's nothing here called blogs at the moment. What I'm going to do is open up this project in Sublime, or any text editor, editor. and I'm going to go to Database Migrations, and as, I, as you can see, it's created this, and this is Create Blogs Table, exactly like we named it here. I'm going to click into here, and it sees the schema Create Blogs, and that's essentially what this command the, what was it? This command does. This is what specifies the fields in the database. So if we look here now, it's got a. Oh yeah, there's nothing here yet, sorry. Uh, if I was to do PHP Addison migrate now, it would create the blogs table because we named it so appropriately. Refresh. We can see it's done a created at and updated at. These are just default by Laravel by the table timestamps. And then the ID, which is relevant to each individual post or row, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, I'm going to just do PHP add some rollback. Migrate rollback. And just so you know what this does, uh, it rollbacks the last database migration. So it's basically going to just get rid of that table, I hope. Okay, so it's rolling back, that's gone. Refresh this, no blog table, excellent. Okay, back into the migration file. I'm going to do table, and then I'm going to specify the, the field type, do string. I'm going to specify the name, because this is actually going to be called blog name. So, And then I'm going to do table. I'm going to do, what is it, text? Because it's going to be a text area, because usually a blog has like a story or whatever. I'm going to type in body. I'm going to keep it nice and simple so you just get the logic. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go back to my terminal window, run PHP. Artisan migrate hit enter boom created blogs table refresh this there we go name body created that updated that okay just to text that this is working correctly I'm gonna click content and I'm just gonna fill this manually with some data this is article name one body this is the body. Boom. And then there's a MySQL command called current underscore timestamp. That actually just gets the time right this second. I'm going to duplicate this. Changes to two and body. Blah blah blah. Current time stamp. Oh, no capitals. Ah, maybe I didn't need capitals after all. Anyway, this now has data. We want to display this data on the front end of the website just to make sure that the blog is working correctly. And a quick way to do this would be to temporarily just add it to the um, main route of the site. So if I just do back in our folder, in our root folder, I'll do PHP Addison Serve. I'm going to specify my port again. Just to make sure everything is working. Boom, we can see our React component from last from last time. I want to go back into my Sublime. <coughs> I'm gonna to go to Roots Web and this is basically returning view welcome now. Um, if I just I don't know if it's gonna work, but yeah, it's see this is basically showing whatever's forward just in the root directory, so forward slash. It's going to go here and it's going to return whatever this is. So, just to test this out, I want to do blogs, uh, blog articles equals db colon colon table. I'm going to specify the table name, which is blogs. I'm going to do get, and this command essentially gets all the rows from the database. And then I want to return this. I'm going to save this. Fingers crossed, if I refresh this, we're going to see data. And boom, there we go. Uh, this is fancy styling is from an app called, well, a plugin called JSON Viewer Awesome. And it just gives you these pretty colors, etc. And MySQL Pro. I could change information here now. And as we can see, it's updated. So that's great. Um, yeah, we've got our table set up. And next up, we'll be creating the API to output some of this information. So that's it from this tutorial, guys. Um, if you enjoyed it or learned anything, please hit subscribe because I will be continuing to upload videos. Cheers.